Hello everyone. We will show you in this video, how to use unattended access. We have further improved the security of our service. We added the possibility to enable and disable unattended access. This feature can also be used to increase the security of the agent. In this video we show you, how to use this new feature. First, let's see the agent. Open the monitor. The unattended access function can be set here. You have two choices. If yes is selected, no permission is requested when connecting to this agent. If the no option is selected, a permission request is displayed when connecting to the agent. Check out both options to see how they work. Let's first look at the situation where yes is selected. How to configure the agent, unattended access enabled. Let's see the other device. Open the website. Enter your username. Enter your password. Click the sign in button. Select agents. Click on the agent. As you can see, the connection was made without asking for permission. This is how it works when unattended access is enabled. And now, let's look at the other situation where unattended access is not allowed. Let's switch back to the agent. How to configure the agent, unattended access disabled. Open the monitor. Select the No option. Let's see the other device. Open the website. Enter your username. Enter your password. Click the sign in button. Select agents. Click on the agent. The connection request is pending acceptance by the agent. The connection will not be established until the request is accepted by the agent. Let's switch back to the agent. This is the permission request window. Here you can see who wants to connect to the agent. And here is the IP address from which the connection to the agent was initiated. You have two choices. You can accept the incoming connection, or you can reject the connection. First, let's reject the request. Let's see the other device. A message appears, telling you that, session rejected by the remote user. The connection to the agent failed. Let's connect to the agent again, to accept the connection. Click on the agent, again. The request has been sent. Let's switch back to the agent. The request window is here again. Click on the I accept button. If you have previously enabled the notification icon, this icon indicates that the connection has been established. 
Let's see the other device. Since the request has been accepted, the connection is established, and the available resources can be used. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video.